if y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell y'all lead. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash royalties, where I CEO. I don't know where you be at, but ain't no place better than this place. You get what I'm saying? Anyway, listen, y'all, my computer acting crazy, and I already reacted to this video, but ain't nothing like re-reacting to a video, because y'all got to understand this is what I do. I'm not new to this. We true to this. Okay. We about to get into um Voices video that she put out about Queen, Chris. You know what I'm saying? Some old people. Let's get it. Today, Queen Naja and Clarence dropped a video called Answering Uncomfortable Questions We Usually Avoid and Chris and Leslie were mentioned. And one of the questions was how do they feel about their exes talking? I don't think we cared. Like, we really didn't care. <laughs> I don't think we I care. Literally, I literally didn't care, but... I told you, I thought that they like actually had a real chemistry. Like I thought they was cute. <laughs> then I, I got to agree. I thought they was cute. If somebody said they wasn't cute, I ain't going to lie. They hating. Queen ain't a hater. I didn't even say that. That's how I really, really felt about it. It really didn't. Like, yeah, is it okay I mean, if I say that? Or yeah. I that now that Leslie is single again. Are you still with Josue? No, we broke up a few months ago. So we, I've been single for a few months. It's not going to work, friend. It's not going to work. This relationship ain't going to work. We just going to 86 it. For those that don't know, when you don't have barbecue sauce at the restaurant, you yell out 86 barbecue sauce, 86 whole sway and, and um, this child. Oh, wait, I answered the question. Yes, I'm single. I've been single for quite some time now. Her and Chris sales are back cool. And like Chris we didn't said know. a lot that he's down to do videos with her again. Do you miss Chris? Yeah, that's my friend. If I have let's let's let it stay like that you know what i'm saying i had kind of fell in love with chrisley or whatever and bam y'all just come out with the bullshit which we knew was gonna happen but you know you tried y'all would have been cute but ah it ain't happening <laughs> if i built a connection with somebody and i haven't seen them for a really long time yeah i'm gonna miss them um but we face them here and there where i always ask how he's doing from our mutual friend and you know we gotta a little update on Chris and see how he's doing with his life. Y'all leave your comments down below when it comes to that. But Clarence also answered, would he speak to Queen's mom again? Um, yeah, maybe. Like, hopefully, <laughs> you know? I'm saying, I'm growing. I'm working on myself every day. You know what I'm saying? Learning how to forgive and shit. That's just something I was never taught as a as a kid is, like, how to forgive. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm learning now, though. I hope they, they answer some really bold questions. Really, really bold question. You do eventually said, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm not reacting to that 30 minute video. Clarence out here throwing out, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. I'ma just sit in the back, you know what I'm saying? Down and work things out because they did have a great relationship prior to the chaos. But y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. But let's talk about Britney Dove's girlfriend because recently she did a hot seat with Pudi and a topic was mentioned that I need y'all opinion on. But how you gonna go on a date with somebody and get so, them? When I first reacted to this video, I spoke about that huge TV on a wall, and I'm going to go back to it again. How you get a 100-inch TV on a wall? Like, I understand they got posts that hold and all that. That's a big TV. You know what I'm saying? And just being held up by a wall. <laughs> or the post or whatever. That's a good post. Wall. Whatever ordering all this extra stuff did she yeah. at least leave the tip nah but i don't expect a girl to like if i feel like if i take a girl out to eat i'm uh -huh. gonna handle the tip however i wouldn't stop a girl from saying i got the tip but i'm a great tipper when it comes to restaurant so if you're not gonna give a good enough tip you know what i'm saying if if the bill came out to 150 and you're gonna leave and the service was great and you're gonna leave a 10 dollar tip you know now, what I'm saying? You gotta leave at least like $75 tip. Now, Brittany was tripping on that $75 tip, baby. You ain't gotta leave 75 However, 20% on uh, $150 is $30. I just found that. Found that 
Woo! Found that out. So I would have probably left a forty dollar tip if the service was really, really good. I'm talking amazing. I'm leaving a fifty dollar tip. Huh? I ain't going over fifty dollars for one fifty or fifty dollars. Hell nah. Hold up. If it's one fifty, I'm leaving like you, you, you wilding like a mother. Really? Seventy five dollars. Fuck is you, Bill Gates' you black daughter? The, you just then, yo, the what? service was immaculate. They depend on those tips. They do. Yeah, and then they gonna depend from another nigga. The fuck? I'm seventy five dollars. Slow the fuck down. Hold up. This shit. I, this turned from a hot seat to a fucking intervention. <laughs> I think I need to ask you questions. Like, what when the... I, if I go out to eat right now and my bill. If he worked at a restaurant before, he will understand. And a lot of people haven't worked at restaurants, especially who got money, so they don't understand. But like my nigga. These people out here got to feed their kids just like you. You know what I'm saying? Man, in his case, he don't have no damn kids. But they got to do a lot. You know what I'm saying? Get these people what they work for. $30, I'm going to leave like a $15, $20 tip. I ain't going to lie. She tripping, though. <laughs> she tripping. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, Hell no. Nah. I don't know. Like, I thought women be good with finances. What the fuck is I'm this? I'm good with finances. You trying to leave twenty dollars for a thirty dollar tip? You trying to leave twenty dollars on a thirty dollar tip is crazy. But I think she looking at it as like she blessed. You know what I'm saying? So she could bless others. I agree. I've done the same. Twenty dollar tip for thirty dollar meal? I Duh! <laughs> Why do you keep your What the fuck? Right, go ahead, go ahead, man. What the fuck? If the bill is one hundred and fifty, you receive great food, great service. How much are y'all leaving for the tip? Now, while y'all comment y'all answers down below, I do want to announce the relaunch of my new website. It's clean Shout out and to her website. exciting. Yes, Definitely go check really it out good. after this video. Also, Mother's I love that Day first cup. I gotta get the first cup. You might want to give Mama Love a cup, a journal, or a passport book. Put some money inside. Something simple and cute. Prices Period. are reasonable. As well as I'm releasing May's digital calendar. I got a lot of great feedback from April's calendar, and due to high demands, I'm yes. doing several versions this time for male and female. I'm also including hyperlinks so you can jump to things a lot quicker. It's yes. also going to be available on your iPhone, your iPad, your Kindle, yes. or the Good Notes, or the Nobility app. Either one of those apps you can use it on. And I'm also going to be dropping videos on how I do my calendar, how to Listen, download y'all make calendar, sure y'all tap into my stickers, friend. How to decorate. Now we spoke about that thing for one day. <laughs> Girl, she had it down back in about a week. In, a, in about a week, she had it all together. Shout out to Voice. I'm so proud of her for standing on business. You know, all kinds of stuff like that. It's a fun thing to do to keep you on schedule, keep you motivated. And I decided to actually release it to my supporters and make it a fun thing where we could all do it together. I appreciate everyone that downloaded last month, people that came and visit the website. I just love y'all support. Okay, so let's get back into the video because a YouTuber dope. went viral after he approached a homeless man behind Wendy's and asked if he was hungry. He buys the food and act like he's about to give the food to the man, but instead he opens the food and starts <laughs> starts eating the food in front of the homeless man. Obviously, people were upset and very angry at this man, and that's really why he was going viral, because a lot of people like were goofy. leaving a lot of comments and trying to find out who he was, where he worked at, but he actually spoke out, and here's what he had to say. I don't care what he had to say, to be honest with you. At the end of the day, bro, like, even if you were to play a prank like that, what you go into doing, it, I, I, I got a burger for you, though. I was just playing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, granted, he a grown ass man. That's his money, whatever. Girl, don't. But but, dude didn't ask you for that. You walked over there into his business. Anyway, he trying to say that he know cuz and he like an uncle. He tried to get him to stay there. That don't clean up that video. That was rude. Okay. Now, was it rude sounds like the way you describe it is real that he is homeless. If he got mail coming to y'all house and y'all giving him his hotel. Room. He has family who lives in our neighborhood. Um, he has an addiction problem. He doesn't want to go to rehab. He'd rather live on the streets and come home sometimes, come out. That's his choice. I ain't even going to lie. That's his choice. They ain't got nothing to do with that burger. He's one of those individuals who Girl, he pissed me off. the free roam. Uh, we see him all around all the time. He's not a stranger to us. So he's been inside of my house. He's been inside of this house right here multiple times. Um, I was actually trying to get him here. For this interview so i can clear the air and be like yo this is not a random guy to me this is like a this is like an uncle to me so um yeah that's uh regina carter was recently the shit was lame it just it wasn't funny at all you know what i'm saying and i just think he need to find something else to do <laughs> a topic i the heard on mine got spicy on the internet and of course there were some people that was more concerned about what would wayne think if he saw his daughter tweeting like this publicly well here's a clip of him speaking about social media all right so basically wayne said in this video that um because it was it was a lot with this video. She had to put music. And I don't know if I'm getting copyrighted or not. So I ain't got time. 
Uh, however, basically Wayne said, you know, he don't worry about social media. He don't get on social media. If the world ended, he and it ended on social media, he wouldn't know nothing about it. And he basically saying, whatever my daughter doing, I don't give a damn. I ain't on there anyway. Mind you, I just want to remind some of y'all. Y'all don't remember like Lollipop? <laughs> y'all don't remember like the songs that he made speaking about sex with women and calling them out their name and all kind of stuff? Y'all don't remember that stuff? Okay. Regine was a child. Right. But she was going to grow older and listen to the music because I'm still listening to the music. Whoever she know, I'm sure is still listening to the music. He didn't give a damn. Because he's grown. So is she. Damn. People crazy. Congratulations. Now let's talk about Leah J. Because recently she posted her IG a picture and a video of her with her new boo. It's Chocolate man. concerned that she's going down the same route as she did when she was with Middlelick, a.k.a. Wizard Kelly. Now if you don't remember when Aaliyah J. first started dating Middlelick, she posted up pictures with him also not showing his face. But people eventually put two and two together and found out who he was. Now Leah J. tweeted, she said, y'all don't have to worry. I'm not posting or doing none of that online love stuff ever again. I learned my lesson real bad. I see you guys <laughs> worrying, but you don't have to. Happiness and healthy as I've ever been and I'm gonna keep it that way Fair. so that's what she had to say y'all leave y'all comments down below let me know what you're thinking until next time peace yeah um y'all listen like man life is short people need to learn to live the way they want to live you know what I'm saying and understand that just because my mom on the internet don't mean I can't make whatever song I want to make don't mean I can't um say freaky things to my man what are you talking about <laughs> Niggas is weird. And the fact that you think that you could tell me that is even weirder. But anyway, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.